the EMG Salient Arms International Blue GBB Pistol. It's been in the wings for some time and it's been one of those guns that I've been wanting to get my hands on since forever. Being the in-house SAI connoisseur that I am, of course, I jumped at the idea of being able to review this for you guys right away. Less talking and let's get into it. Before I start to sound a little biased here and you guys start shouting in the comment section, SAI fanboy, I'm going to come out and say it that there are a few things in this gun that fall a little flat to me, but I am comparing it to the two previous EMG SAI pistols that I reviewed before, which were the two high kappa style 1911s. Those two, if you remember me saying something to the effect of they're probably some of the best high kappa style pistols I've ever shot. With the blue, I feel like I feel like I'm finally seeing my Tinder date for the first time in person. They just don't look the same. To start us off in the spirit of fairness, I'm gonna cover some of the things that I feel a little meh about this gun. We're better to start than this thread protector. I really don't even know where to start with this thread protector. I see it a lot on the real steel guns and to be very honest, it's a little ridiculous. Furthermore, this thread protector protects the threads that are actually an adapter for you to adapt suppressors and silencers or tracers and so on to the front. But, as you can see, it screws on to the inside of your outer barrel, making torquing this thing down extremely frustrated because it's clockwise on one way and counterclockwise on the other side. So when you get one tight, the other one's gonna come loose. The second thing is, well, not necessarily a gripe, but it's something I feel that I need to talk about nonetheless, and that is the texturing on this frame. A lot of people may think that, oh, wow, the gun's gonna come pre-stippled, and that's where you would sadly be mistaken. This is prefabricated texturing that is on this frame. It is not stippling because this is stippling. See how it's dimpled and it actually goes into the frame. This is prefab. This is stippling. Slight difference, mind you. Whew. Glad we got those out of the way. I'm pretty sure some of you guys may be thinking, wow, this might be the first gun, salient gun, that Mark is going to say, hmm, I don't like it. But, you would be coming to assumptions that may not be entirely true. And I'm gonna explain to you why. We're gonna keep talking about this frame for a little bit. Now, according to the Salient Arms International website, their description as to why they built this gun was they said that there are people who enjoy the M&P ergonomics with the Glock reliability. And I can definitely see the M&P ergonomics shine through this frame. With the high beaver tail and the slightly straight down angle of the grip itself, it really does fit exceptionally well in your hand. Now this brass back strap also makes the gun feel very weighty in your hand, even though I can see it probably getting a little slippery if your hands get a little sweaty. Another cool feature is that the gun comes with this low profile magwell, as well as a mag plate with each magazine with the SAI trades on the bottom. This makes pulling the magazine out of your pouch or your magazine holders all the easier. Even though if I depress the magazine release, sometimes your magazine does get a little stuck. But small issue, it does slide out just fine. Now let's talk about this slide. It has serrations from the front all the way to the rear, a window up front where you can see SAI marked on the outer barrel, and a relief cut right back here to take a little bit more weight off of the slide itself. The serrations are not too deep, and they don't slice your hand open if you go to rack it back hard and you know, maybe under a stressful situation. Thank God. 
The rear sights are blacked out and they have lines on them, as you can see here. So that helps you diffuse some of the light that reflects off of the gun, make it easier for you to pick up that fiber optic green front sight. On the bottom, the accessory rail is a standard Picatinny rail, so you can definitely fit your lights and lasers on it. This gun comes in two different configurations for power source, CO2 and green gas. And I know what you're thinking, are other magazines compatible with this gun? Haha, <laughs> I read your mind. If you want to learn more, you know who to call, Gambit's Guide. Click on the card above or in the description below. Big arrows, you're doing it wrong if you don't know where they are. I'm using 6mm BBs and CO2. So here we are at our warehouse and before I get to the actual accuracy portion of this video, I want to get to know my Tinder date a little bit better. There's our quick target and let's see how she shoots. I've loaded a few rounds in the magazine. Oh boy, she's a shooter. Great recall impulse. Trigger is really nice. Not a lot of take up at all. I cannot wait to see how accurate this gun is. Let's step back a couple meters and we'll go from there. So now that we know the gun is a shooter, let's see how accurate she is. I've stepped back to roughly 10 meters away from our target downrange and we're gonna see just how good the gun holds a group. Shout out to Blackleaf Airsoft for making me this awesome holster. It literally fits every single pistol I've ever reviewed. <laughs> Less talking, more shooting. That green fiber optic sight really does help keep the gun on target quite well. And the trigger break is fantastic. I'm pretty sure those results can speak for themselves. Let's go back up to the studio. I know what you're thinking. I know. Again, once again, I know what you're thinking. Mark, where's the hop-up? Huh, now it's time for us to play our favorite hide and go find the hop-up game. And there's the hop-up, right there. If you didn't expect it to be there, I don't know what you were expecting. Before I conclude my Tinder date with the EMG SAI Blue, if you wanna watch the other EMG videos I did about the 1911s, go ahead and click on the card or in the description below. I don't know if you can find the card or the description. I don't think we made it obvious enough. Anyways, back to the gun. When I said that the blue was kind of like going on a Tinder date and finally seeing the date for the first time, I wasn't meaning it in a bad way. I was more referring to the fact that maybe he or she used an outdated photo, like, oh, your hair's longer than I thought, or, huh, didn't expect you to be that tall, or, huh, never thought that you would be uh, talking about toy guns on the internet. I'm letting on a little too much. My point being, the gun, you need to just spend a little bit more time with it. Somehow, from all the photos, from everything I thought it would be, it kind of wasn't but after you shot the thing my goodness there is a lot of gun here it does feel great in your hand it cycles like a dream it's got great recoil impulse and those two different power sources really allows you to play under a lot of different environments and circumstances not to mention it's 173.99 that's a pretty good deal for a handsome handsome looking pistol such as the SAI Blue. What do you guys think? You guys think the SAI EMG Blue pistol is something you would look into or you want to stick with something you're more familiar with? Let me know all of that in the comments section below. 
And if you want to find cool guns like this and many more, don't forget to check out our online store at www.redwolfairsoft.com. Once again, I've been Mark, a.k.a. Blue Steel, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Red Wolf TV. Have a good one, guys.